Hello, welcome back to this video. We will continue with creating an auto productivity overtime graph. It's a pretty simple code, so you just uh, write this code and I will open the help so you can see more information about it. Here is the help, you can read about it. And yeah, I delete the question mark. So this is the database, or sorry, this is the data frame. And this is the number of authors that you want to see in the graph. And graph set to true means that you want to plot it. So I just run, I can run the code in the plot section. And another thing that I want to show you is that usually in our studio, the quality of the graphs are very bad uh, by default. If you want to create high quality graphs to use it in your scientific publications, because most of the um, journals they require at least 300 dpi or uh, I, I think a thousand pixels in each uh, in uh, width and breadth so you, what you can do is to use this tiff code to first uh, save your graph as tiff and also to increase the resolution to whatever you want here i'm using width and height and pixels you can use centimeters if you want the only trick is that if you want this to work, you have to first run teeth and then run the code that ha that plots. So here I run this. And then you can see here in my working directory, there is no picture. And it is a little bit time consuming command. So we have to be patient. So now I actually run the code. And I will wait for it to show. I will pause the video. Okay, we're back. So you can see that now the graph is here in my directory. And you can see that uh, it's the same name that I had given it here. And also here in the plots. So what you can see in the plot is number of articles. So the bigger the size of the circle, the higher the number of articles that that specific writer has written in that year. Uh, what you have to remember about this code is that it's not necessarily the first author's publication. So these people can be uh, second name, last name. They, they are author of a publication regardless. Uh, and this NA, NA, I think it comes, uh, it, it is because of the non-existent uh, authors. And that's because we have some conferences, some books, and some extra types of uh, publications in our uh, database. If it was set, like, if, if the, all, all the metadata was set to journal articles, this would have uh, would not have happened and we can easily uh, clean it up by going through M and actually we can just do a sh small tiny tiny uh, text mining and yeah you can see here for example we can do a text mining and we can clean it up but for now it's okay then the next thing in the legend is TC per year TC means total citation you can see it's colorized so uh, the lighter the color, the more transparent, the less uh, the citations per year. To make an example, uh, the author uh, Navari, he ha in 2019, he has four publications and it is cited eight times. That's how you infer this specific graph. Uh, so for now, this graph, uh, we're done with it.